Hello, welcome to Writer's Rain Crochet. Today we're doing this little panda bear um, that has, she has a little bow and a leaf. Um, if this is the first one of these zoo animals you have watched, you need to go back to part one. Part one does the entire body and then each um, accessories on the body have their own video so you can make the animal that you want. Um, I will put that link below. I also will put the link to the Etsy pattern from Crochet Pattern Goods. If you would like to have the written pattern for all of these pieces, um, I do do change the pattern up quite a bit uh, to do things that I like um, better or that I find um, make the, the amigurumi look cuter or just easier to do. Um, so just beware, don't get, it, sometimes it helps just to watch somebody and then you can go to your pattern and follow that if you want, whatever you feel more comfortable with. So um, since I'm just doing um, these accessories here, I'm going to go ahead and just do this and some scrap uh, pieces of yarn I have here for you. And I'm going to go ahead and move her to the side. Okay, and let's go ahead and why don't we start with the ears. With the ears, we're going to do a magic ring and we're going to put six single crochets in that. We'll cinch her up. Now we're going to go ahead and increase to make 12, so two single crochets in each stitch. Grab that tail if you can. There's nine, 10, 11, and 12. Let's go ahead and center up the best we can because this will be the center of the panda's ear. Trim that out of our way. Get our stitch marker. And now we're gonna do a single crochet increase and when we get done we're gonna have a total of 18 stitches so single crochet increase and we're gonna go ahead and repeat this all the way around three rounds of 18 single crochets. If you have your counts right from the last time, then your stitch markers can tell you where you could go, where you need to go to, and hopefully your count will just stay right on. And I will meet you back here when you're done with three rows. Okay, I completed my last three rounds and now we're going to do is um, we're going to do a single crochet uh, decrease and I don't know if it's a typo in the pattern it says increase but that wasn't coming out right so I think that she meant decrease but either way I did a decrease so I did single crochet decrease visible decrease right we go in the front of the next two stitches, pull through, and then finish off grabbing the yarn and completing this single crochet. 
Zoom crochet decrease. Single crochet decrease. And one last single crochet and decrease. Okay, we cut our yarn. Um, you can slip stitch and weave your ends in. All your ends can be weaved in on this ear. So it's nice and clean looking or tucked into it either way. So now we will fold this like so and we've got us this really cute little ear that we are going to crochet on our project here. So make you another ear. Now on the second ear, you wanna leave a long tail so that um, you can sew on the one ear. Then just go ahead and take that tail and come across like this and uh, crochet and then crochet this ear on. Um, I've mentioned this in a couple other videos. Um, I Sometimes I use this, uh, actually not sometimes, I use this 3-in-1 glue so much, I love it. Um, you can, if you have the patience, you can make your ears and then just put a little bit of this here on the ear and set it where you want it and then pin it. And if you wait about 20 minutes, then you can come back and you can sew that um, appendage on or whatever it is that you want to sew on um, with more stability and less likely for it to twist on you when you're trying to crochet it on. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move to the bow. This is one of the little bows. It's in a couple of the other videos as well. But we're gonna make a magic ring. And this sounds a lot harder than I think it really is, but let's go ahead and lock it. Okay, so first we're going to chain two. Then we're going to do two double crochets in the loop. You gotta really hold on to that loop. Another double crochet. We're going to chain two. We're going to slip stitch. Right off the slip stitch, chain two. Two double crochets. Chain two. And slip stitch. Now we pull our uh, magic ring tail in and we cut the length, we're already done, it's that fast. Cut the length of our yarn, what you would like it to be. <clears throat> Go ahead and pull that through and lock it. I'll get this out of the way. And so what you're gonna do now is we're just going to wrap this bow as many times as we like for me, it's about three or four um, for the smaller ones, five or six for the bigger ones. And now you have your um, cute little bow. Um, you can either sew this on or I use my three-in-one. Any of this little stuff like this because I don't want that color showing anywhere. I don't want it to be a, um, a hassle for me. I, I glue it on. Um, you might want to throw a couple stitches in just to hold it a little better. But that's how we do our bow. And then last, no, not last, second to last, I guess, we're going to go ahead and whip out this leaf really quick. And so for the leaf, what we did is we chained seven. Second chain from the hook, single crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do two double crochets. Go back to a half double. and then a single crochet. 
apologize. Been waiting for a phone call, so I had the ringer on. Um, go ahead and get that snipped off. And I usually tie these two ends like this. So I know that I won't have no problems with it coming undone. Remember, once you have to flip it around to tie a good knot and go both directions. Like so. And there's your little leaf. Nothing super fancy. Um, looks a lot more like a leaf when it's blue green than when it's pink. But um, anyway, so there's that. And now we're going to move on to our dress. Get all the scrap yarn out of the way. Okay, on to our dress. So our dress, we're going to make a slip knot. We're going to chain 22. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do um, a slip stitch into the first chain. I go right in the front. This has seemed to work okay for me with this project. So, um, and then I'm going to slip stitch. Lost my tension. Okay, and chain one. Now I can turn this all the right way. We are now going to do 22 double crochets all the way around. We definitely want to start in the stitch we came out of because that is going to be considered one. Tuck your yarn if you can. Um, we all hate sewing in ends. So, and I'm going to go ahead and meet you back around when you've done 22 double crochets. Okay, guys, you made it back around. Let's go ahead and slip stitch to the first double crochet. And we'll go ahead and chain one. And then we're going to, here's the fun part, four single crochets go back into the same stitch. One, two, three, and four. Chain five. Skip three, one, two, three. And now we're going to single crochet eight. That counts as one. And eight, chain five. Skip three, one, two, three. And then we're going to just finish crocheting, which should be five single crochets. If it's not, it's not a big deal. And let's go ahead and slip stitch. Cut our yarn, weave in our ends, and there's our cute little dress. Okay, next. Okay, we're back. Look, we got our dress all done, and she is very cute. I use a little bit of acrylic paint for some cheek lightening. Um, still working on getting better at doing that. But there's your little panda, and I, I want to thank you so much for joining me today um, for this panda tutorial. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, like always, please share, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.